Hey, what's going guys? Crypto's Wilson here, and today I'm bringing an updated video on setting up AVI economy for your Anton Rocket server. Now we're gonna head over to the download page, the link will be in the description down below. And we're gonna need two things, AVI Rockets and AVI Economy. Now you need AVI Rockets which is the modules to run all the other AVI plugins. So we're gonna click on the AVI Rockets and download it. And we're also gonna need to download AVI Economy. Once that's done, open both of them. And we can minimize out the browser. Now they have both AVI Economy and AVI Rockets up. We're going to open our unturned folder where the server is located. And we're going to head over into modules. And first off, we're going to need to create a new folder which is AVI Rockets. And the AVI Rockets zip, we're going to drag all the module files into the new folder we just created. As you can see here, go back and we can close out the zip file of AVI Rockets. Now we're going to go into our server and install the plugins and the immediate libraries. So into the plugins folder, drag the AVI economy and AVI admin tools. Go back and drag the AVI libraries into your rocket libraries. Once that's done, we can go ahead and start our server. Now once it's started, if you scroll up you can see AVI economy has loaded and so as the AVI rockets modules. Since that started, we're going to go into our service folder, rocket plugins, and AVI economy which is the folder that has been generated. Edit it with notepad plus plus. And we can see here the database name, we're going to leave that as default. The initial balance, so when new players join, they'll be given this amount. The currency name and the currency symbol, you can change that to, let's say, euros or pounds. Currency symbol before values. And we've got the salary interval, so how many seconds it will take for the salary to be given out. And you got the experience exchange rate, so this is set to 1. 1 experience equals $1. And for example, if we just trade 100 experience, it will cost you 90 bucks. Reward for zombie head, so $1.50. Reward for mega zombie head, 40 And all these are pretty self-explanatory. Now since we didn't edit any of them, we can close out of it. And if we head over into our permissions, we're going to edit with Notepad++. And going back into our browser, scroll down to the commands, and you can see the permissions right here. So we're just going to lay them side by side, and first off, we're going to add some permissions. So I'm going to just add some templates in group it default of the permissions. And first up, we've got slash balance. The permission is this, so we're just going to copy it paste it in. That allows the person to slash balance, check how many money they have. We've got slash pay, obviously to pay someone. We're going to add that in. And next up we've got the command for showing incoming payments. So we're going to add that in. And outgoing payments uses the same permission. The exchange permission, we're going to add that in. And we also got the TR log, which is showing all the transactions in the entire server. Now obviously we don't want that to be used for default. And you also got transaction clear. Also we don't want that for defaults as well. Now as for the salary, it is permission based. So for example, if you want a group default to have $100 as their salary, this is the permission. Now if you want to change it to let's say $500, you can change it. Now you can edit how many seconds they'll receive a salary every X amount of seconds right here in the AVI economy configuration. Now once we're done editing the permissions, we can save it 
and close out of it. We go into our server and type p reload which will reload the permissions. Alright now that I have joined the server I'm going to do slash p to view a list of permissions. Now we're going to view our balance so if we do slash bal I have $84. Now the reason I have $84 is one is that my friend just paid me 10 bucks and also I have died a couple of times so deducted my balance. Normally when a new player joins I'll have $100.50 which I have set as the starting balance. So the next command is slash pay and we're just going to pay my friend 50 bucks. As you can see I paid my friend $50. And for the next command is to view the list of incoming payments. So for example, if I do trin space page one, you can see my history of received payments. If I do slash tr out page one, you can see the history of players that are paid. And the next command is the exchange for experience. So currently I have five experience and if I exchange that for money, I would do slash exc space and the amount so 5 experience and I've exchanged that for 4.5 bucks or the admin commands we do is slash tr log and x amount hours for example one hour ago you can see the list of transactions one hour ago and also if you want to clear the transaction you can do slash tr clear but we're not going to do that since we're going to need it later on now if you want to install light database viewer which is needed if you want to edit or view the database such as player balances. You can do so by first installing the light database viewer. Now once you have it installed, you just open it up. So you just type in light database viewer on your windows and open it. Now we're going to locate our bank database file. So we're going to go into our unturned folder. And into our server folder. And you should see a new folder which is called database inside your rocket folder and you can see here bank just want to double click on it and now that we're inside if we click on one of the collections let's say bank accounts you can see the list of all the users banks accounts and also as for transactions you can see the list of transactions throughout the entire server now if you want to let's say change a place balance from here we're going to take this player's balance, right click it, view row as object, then view as string. Click on view as string on the top right and copy the entire string. You can close out of it. And under the query box, we're going to delete find limit 100 but still leave that dot afterwards. And we're going to add in update. As you can see right here, space and we're going to paste that string in and you can change the balance from here. So if we set this as to 100, press enter on your keyboard and a new collection will pop up with query saying the result is true. Going back to the bank accounts, you can see the balance is now 100. Now if for example you have an existing economy MySQL and you want to migrate over to AVI economy, click on the download button. Once it's downloaded, open it and extract it to your desktop and head over to your existing server that has the economy configuration. So we're just going to use my server for example and we're going to copy the economy configuration and paste it into the extracted folder with the migration tool. Open the application. And it will begin to migrate over and now you can see the bank.database file. Now we're going to place it into our server. Rocket database and we can replace it. And there we go, we have successfully migrated to AVI economy and all your existing economy player database will now be in this one. Also make sure to delete the commands.config after you have migrated over and restart the server and it will generate a new one. You can restart the server and it will load up all the old economy player databases which have been migrated over.
So that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if it helped, and I'll see you guys next time.